When I talk about new wave mu music and the Philippines, the first thing I want to say, I've discussed this before, um, the Philippines loves new wave music. They love the lyrics, they love the um, the depth of the songs, etc. It just carries on and on and on. But one thing a lot of people haven't seen is the movies that relate to that time and genre, etc. So I've started um, going back to the 80s with, with stuff we've been watching here in the house. Um, and I have to say, a lot of it is much, much better than the stuff being produced at the moment from um, a story point of view. The, you know, the storylines seem a bit better. The, there's less violence. It's, it's more based on topics of interest in interesting viewpoints. Because um, obviously, like the Brat Pack were quite a big thing. Now, I know some people are going to go, yeah, but the Brat Pack is America and a lot of the new wave stuff, well, the majority of it is from the UK. It's to do with the time. It's a time when it was all sort of new and you'll find a lot of the soundtracks and stuff in the movies. This is why the Brat Pack sort of stuff is quite uh, interesting because things like uh, 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club, all that sort of stuff is around that era and it's got a lot of sound. Weird Science we watched last night actually. Um, these movies are sort of like encapsulating the time uh, but more relevant though is I think it fits in with stuff a lot of Filipino knows actually enjoy. Now why bring them up now? Well the fact is most Filipinos didn't have a TV back then. Um, they were listening to new wave music on a radio. Uh, they did not have access to the media that they have today. So this bringing it forward, A, gives you something to sort of like go over some of the stuff from the past, but it's also a genre that has a time for people in the Philippines as well as your time. So it connects quite well, but also the storylines and things are not so complicated, but they're interesting. Um, so it, it's sort of like watching movies without violence in many ways, because it's more about the characters, um, which is why I actually when I started going over these the the other week, because um, I've had my father and daughter over on holiday, and we actually run out of stuff to watch, and I'm looking at the new stuff, and it, most of it lacks storylines. You know, it's like let's blow something up enemy blow up enemy and then it's like okay well that's about it it's sort of missing stuff that gets you in depth with the characters so this was quite interesting i think that's why people look forward to things like uh, game of thrones because of the complexities of characters in there the different types of characters um but i find a lot of movies these days are just going good guy bad guy blow things up blah 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 they skip the storyline. Um, it's so vague that it's sort of irrelevant. But I find with this sort of genre and era, um, a lot of the stuff is quite interesting. You know, when you look back on it, they become a lot of it's timeless because it's not based on special effects or um, being boosted up as something spectacular. It's very much sold on the characters. Um, but I also think from a Filipino perspective, the movies are quite funny, they're quite good, they're also easy to understand and interesting. So, highly recommend it.